hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey don't forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate yeah so um if you can hear a party kind of vibe song that doesn't make any sense but there's a party going on somewhere around here and i don't know where and i swear i swear i didn't know that they were having this party before i started recording so anyway let's just get straight into the video so there's this tag that has been going around the media tag for book recommendations and i'm like okay I i've never done a book re recommendation tag because i'm actually scared because you guys know i just started getting into reading this year and guess what guess what guys i've read 40 books 40 books okay it's more than 40 but my goal for this year is to read 50 books and i planned to get myself a kindle after getting to the 50th book but i feel like i don't know i'm scared anyway that aside so let's just do this media tag i'm going to put the questions in the description box if you want to do it i saw all these big you know big book youtubers do it so i felt like okay let me try it too okay so the first question is the best book you've read so far i would have to go with these two books so the first one is a broken people's playlist by chimeka garrick it's a collection of short stories different story depicts different feelings and that's the reason why i love it because the first story captured me like <laughs> I have a vlog where I talked about it. My friend also started reading it. She's still here. I could not give it to her to take it home because the last book she took home, she did me, she did it dirty. There are some stories that made me laugh, but there are some stories that made me cry. And there are some stories that I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the funniest thing is I'm not a fan of collection of short stories. I'm not a fan at all because I don't like the fact that they, you know, they could just cut me off and nah. But I really like this one. I gave it five stars. Then the other one I liked so much. Inka, where's your husband? You guys, guys. I want to say I've not read other books that I liked. But, guys. I've read this, I think, since January. I don't even remember the exact month I read it. But I've, I can't stop thinking about this book. I can't. I don't know what it is. It made me laugh. It made me, everything. It talks about a girl named Jinka And she <laughs> the way the story started uh, it's actually funny because her sister is already getting a younger sister is already getting married and in nigeria at that time like the older sister should get married before the younger sister so when they are praying for the younger sister they'll be praying for her like oh god get her a husband so there was a lot of pressure on her and then she was almost changing her personality herself just to be able to get a man there was a time she almost bleached her skin you guys she almost bleached her skin i was like girl what are you doing she's just she was just trying to you know get a man and if this man doesn't work then she tr she's trying to okay another man will work then later she had to like fall in love with herself which is actually really really good i really love this story you can wear the husband by lizzie damn lola blackburn this book this book i can't stop thinking about it i would have selected another book but nah that one yeah best sequel you've read in 2023 i don't know if i'll call this a sequel but these three books by helen huang you guys i love 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 these three books the first one is the kiss quotient the second one the bride test and the third one the heart principle talks about three different guys different brothers it's educative because it talks about autistic people and how they fall in love it turns out that ellen huang herself is autistic autistic people don't like being touched they don't like being uh questioned they don't like being around people something like that but it talks about how they how they fall in love they find love and it's actually really really good i can't stop thinking about these three books and i don't think it's a series but i'm just going to come as a series because <laughs> because you guys i've not read any series yet oh i started the twisted series i've only read twisted love and i loved it so i don't know if i had finished it maybe i'll have said okay the twisted series but i really love these three books and they are so cute like have you seen the pages i mean the cup i said the pages even a new release that i have but i haven't read i just bought some books there's happy place i just ordered for it and it's already ready to be delivered to me but i just don't want to collect it yet because i have a lot of books i recently did another haul and i feel like i have a lot of books to read so i just okay i told the vendor to keep it for me first that i'll collect it later but i'll still collect it this year and i'll still read it this exact year i don't know maybe i'll read it in winter when everybody has finished reading in summer <laughs> then i think there's also yellow face i think yellow face also just came out this year i don't know but those are the two new releases that i can say i have but i've not read but they're not in my hand do you get 
I have it, but they're not with me. Do you get my most anticipated release? Honestly, you guys, I don't know. I I don't know because I just started reading this year, so I cannot say I'm, uh, I'm anticipating a particular release because I, I, I can't say I, I just don't know. A book that's your biggest surprise. Malibu Rising by Je Taylor Jenkins Reid. Why is it my biggest surprise, you may ask? It's because when I started the book, I was like, what the hell am I reading? Like, what is happening, you know? It was very slow in the beginning, but as I continued and I got to the end and I felt, and I realized that, damn, I actually love this book. And that was what made me fall in love with Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm like, damn, talks about the River family there are problems there are secrets and also some other celebrities that came up in this book Carisotto is also mentioned here which was actually funny because <laughs> i was like Carisotto. so it's it's actually surprised me because this book is an historical <laughs> this book is an historical fiction and i've never read any historical fiction in my life this is my first historical fiction <laughs> this is my first historical fiction book and i really love this so much favorite new author okay um if it's a debut author I cannot say I don't know but if it's just a, an author that I just discovered I'm going to say Taylor Jenkins read why because I read Malibu Rising and I also read Carisotto is back and I've loved both of them so far like I've given both of them five stars I don't know she, she just has a way of making you feel like everything is real and at the end of it you just feel like nothing nothing can make you give this book bad ratings you know a book that made me cry okay <laughs> guys i'm a very emotional person even when the book is supposed to make me happy i cry the first one is this one a broken people's playlist like i said the first story this really really broke my heart it broke you guys i was shocked you need to go check out that vlog i was freaking freaking shocked ugly love by colin uva yeah people have this controversy about this book people some people hate it or do, do, or like it so that's how it is i love this book it's about tate and miles and their relationship was kind of brother's best friend and sister you know that kind of relationship and there was a traumatic thing that happened to i've forgotten who the guy is whether tate is the guy or miles i think miles is the guy so uh miles something happened to him that was very very traumatic and i did not expect it and that part actually made me cry for real guys i cried that night i was like someone should not no one should go through something like that ever you've reached sam by dustin tao i loved this book so much also look it's giving purple vibes like i'm having like 50 shades of purple 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 I actually made this myself. What do you think? Is it cute? Uh, I'm diverting. I'm distracted. Is it diverting or distracted? Anyway, let's get back to this gist. So this one is a very it's a sad book about a boy and a girl, Sam and Julie. So both of them made plans that they are going to, you know, live together forever and after school they are going to move out of their city. But all of a sudden Sam actually died and then uh Julie called Sam's phone number. You know, she she has been missing him. She went through the different stages of grief, denial, acceptance, blah 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 blah. So she decided to call Sam's phone one last time to, you know, just hear his voicemail recording that says you can leave a message, something like that. And the next thing, Sam actually picked up the call. And then they start to act, you know, she, she could not now let go again. The story is actually really good. And the last book that made me cry so far, so far as, as at now, Karisoto is back. <laughs> how did this make me cry? Because I don't know how to explain it. Karisoto is back as it talks about a tennis player. She's a tennis player and somebody is about to beat a record. So she just, she, she, she wants to come back and beat that record so that the person will not beat the record she had to like go through training again you know she has retired for how many years and coming back into training so she did it with her dad and her dad spoilers if you don't want to listen to spoilers please just keep this part okay please keep this part i'm going to write spoiler here or somewhere on my screen then after the spoiler you can yeah so her father died her father died and me seeing her relationship with her father from the beginning of this story actually broke my heart when he died I really cried you guys i really cried so that was what made me cry i love the book so much a book that made me happy <laughs> god you guys a lot of books made me happy a lot Hallie hazelwood the ali hazelwood made me happy the love hypothesis and uh, love on the brain these two books they are my prized possessions also i really love them talk about women in stem and their relationship and always the guy is huge the girl is petite that kind of vibe but they made me happy it's just a sweet rom-com 
sweet sweet this to make me happy with the fire on high by elizabeth acevedo this one actually made me happy because seeing this young girl that has a dream to be a chef you know go through a lot a determination even though she was a single mother at a very young age a family and everything i love for cooking this made me happy you guys made me happy to see that she actually excelled in the end i was so happy about this then recently i finished reading the soulmate equation by christian lauren oh my god this one made me so freaking happy there was nothing wrong i can't say there's anything wrong guys i even tapped the shit out of it but not not that crazy that but this made me happy you guys there's nothing i can say that is bad about this book but just seeing how both of them are meant for each other but they were just doing yama yama made me happy <laughs> Seven Days in Jews by Tia Williams. This book is a sad book, yes, but not sad, sad, but just seeing the, their relationship grow, the relationship between Genevieve and Shane, the two of them, they are both writers and they had known each other when they were younger, but that time when they met each other, both of them were not alright, they were not at all, but seeing them meet again and then trying to deny the fact that they are, they are in love with each other and making poor choices, so yeah. This book made me happy actually i i loved it and the little girl audrey i think her name is audrey she made me happy so freaking happy so i i love this one but all books make me happy as far as i enjoyed them the most beautiful book cover i bought this year oh my god okay with the fire on eye you guys just admire the beauty of this book admire the beauty of this book can you see how this looks like i don't know song i'm i love music so much and i found this design really pretty like it's so good this one is by Odefa Atogun. The next most beautiful book. Most beautiful. In fact, this is the most beautiful book among all these ones. I want to show you this one. Love Another Words by Christian Lauren. You guys, can you see how cute and aesthetic this cover is? Like, I don't want anything to happen to this cover. I've not read this book, by the way. <laughs> I just recently on old. No, I just recently old this book in my recent haul. So, this one is cute will you will you marry me oh will you still love me tomorrow by claudia carroll this one is actually i feel like it's so cute it just looks like this winter kind of vibe yeah i don't know the cover is really cute i feel like all the shatter me covers are really cute but this particular these two particular i've not read it though i've not but they are beautiful uh ignite me can you see how the eye is giving it's giving nature it's giving beauty and then this one believe me it's just giving girl power vibe like sparkles and cute right cute lessons in chemistry i'm not talking about the dust jacket i'm actually talking about underneath the dust jacket we have this periodic table that is so cute you guys can you see this can you see this i feel like it's really really special i i never expected to find that but I really liked it books i want to read this year hmm i want to read all my books that i've gotten i want to read uh happy place yellow face the bodyguard by Catherine center i have it i just recently old that i want to finish the two series this year i also want to try my best to read the shatter me series because i feel like everybody has read it except me yeah those those books basically are the ones that i must actually read this year. oh the first to die at the end I want to read that because I saw a review about it by another bookstagrammer and she said she really loved it and I felt like, okay, I have it, so let me read that. So, yeah, series I want to finish this year. Oh, I would like to finish the Shatter Me series and I've not even started that though, so I want to start and finish Shatter Me series and also finish Twisted series, Twisted Love, Twisted Eight, Twisted Games, Twisted Lie. Then I also got the, um, the King of Pride, King of Wrath and King of Pride, so... I'm expecting that in my book mail next so those are the books yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this you can also do this tag i feel kind of weird i don't know if you guys will agree with me because I, it's my first time doing a book recommendation tag so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you guys in my next what's wrong with my camera i'll see you guys in my next video i think i want to make another one right now so i'll see you guys later do you see <laughs> that's all